Hello, my beautiful Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. Welcome to my channel. If you like tarot, if you like Oracle, if you like to have a good time, this is the place to be. And if you really like it, come follow me on Instagram at Arena Luciano. We go live on Tuesdays, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. Live readings, good times, happy hour. All right. Now, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. All right. Now, the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general oracle, general love, singles, couples, and all signs. All right. But first, let's talk about the energies up above. On the first, we starting off this month, we kick an arse, okay? We have the new moon in Scorpio, nine degrees. There are some things coming to an ending, all right? A lot of energies are coming to an ending. That nine represents the end of a cycle. Now, this new moon is highlighting areas in your life that need to be cleansed and cleared. I am going to talk about these cards real quick before I show you what they are. Loteria Remedios, Gatamera Botanica, absolutely love them. Um, I should do an unboxing because the artwork and the book is just amazing. I do recommend those cards. Now, your energy is el paraguas, okay? The paraguas. Now, this energy that comes through, you see that the rain is coming. You're prepared. You know that you need your umbrella. You know what's going to be happening. This is about you preparing for those situations. But also, this card is telling me that it's time to get cleared and cleansed. It's time for a good cleaning, okay? Let the rain fall on you. Enjoy it. Enjoy the change. Now, on the second, Mercury enters into Sagittarius. This beautiful energy is going to keep us on our toes. We might be saying things we regret later on, but we're going to be saying them any damn dirty way. All right? And on the third, Mars enters into Leo. Mars is this energy planet of action, moving forward, being decisive. And, in, and with Leo energy, it is about being brave, about making those decisions. On the 11th, happy Veterans Day. All right? Uh, to all my beautiful veterans out there, thank you so much for all the hard work you do. My daddy is a veteran, all right? I also got a scholarship for writing a, um, a paper on him. So happy Veterans Day, all right, to my friend Blanca and TT. all right? Now, with that energy comes in Venus in Capricorn. Venus in Capricorn is this beautiful vibe of does this make sense in love? Are we moving to the next level? Um... This is a kind of love that's like, oh, I got the mail for you because it was raining. I didn't want you to get wet. Or this is the energy of I got your brakes. I got I did your brakes and your oil change. You don't have to worry about it. Like things that just make sense. OK, now it's my, also my daughter's birthday that day. So it's going to be super exciting. On the 15th, Saturn goes direct and we have a full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees. You have the energy of El Catrin. The Catrin is coming in to tell you, baby, it is time to get rid of the old, dusty, musty things that are in your life. OK. If it's furniture, if it's clothes, if it's people, if it's whatever, it's got to go. Because you're about to get dipped in damper, baby. You're about to be stunting, all right? It's time for you to go out, look your best, be dressed to impress, all right? And it's time to shine, okay? It's time to shine. Now, on the 19th, Pluto enters into Aquarius. Pluto is, is this little planet that makes a lot of things happen, all right? Being an Aquarius, be prepared. There is a lot coming through with this Pluto and Saturn energy, and I'm going to tell you there are things coming to the light. You need to prepare yourself for things that are going to be shocking. Do not get consumed by that. Keep your vibe high. Pray for yourself. Clear. Cleanse. Take a break. Do not consume too much of social media. That is bringing you in a lot of negativity. Remember, energy harvesting. All right? Now, on the 21st, we got Sagittarius season coming in. Arr, call up that sexy Sag. Let's go have lunch. All right? Or dinner. Mm, maybe dessert. And and on the 25th, Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius. Are you guys ready for that Mercury retrograde? Because there's going to be a lot being said. So let's jump into this read right here. We have your astrological energy is that of Libra, very balanced. Libra could have a very strong power with you this month. Or there's some, there's check your chart and see what you, what planets you have in Libra, what energy is there. There's something that needs to be balanced. There could also be something that you need to look at in a different light this month. All right. Now. Your overall energy in love is that of the warrior. And I love this card. It's super, super powerful. It says, be fearless and stand strong. And being fearless doesn't mean that you're going to go in and fight for the right to party. But this is about being on business, okay? Like, if you don't like something, we're going to let our partner know or we're going to let that person who's doing it know immediately. Look, I don't like that and it's not going to happen. Okay, thanks a lot. Shabai. But this is about you standing on business this month. No matter what, you have your boundaries up, you're standing your ground, and you're not afraid to speak your mind. All right, now. 
There is something major coming in for the spring. And with the umbrella, when I saw it underneath this card, I thought about April showers brings May flowers. And I think by the Taurus new moon of 2025, you are going to be in a completely new cycle. If you're looking for love, I do believe that's when it's going to probably sneak in out of nowhere. But there's this energy of new life coming towards you. I also feel that you're also, April 22nd could be very important for you too, okay? There's also this energy coming through here on April 4th. That's my daddy's birthday. Anyways, the, this card adds some. I feel like your dreams are going to be very empowered. You're also getting a lot of intuitive messages from your spirit guides. Write them down, keep a journal, and do it, and, and move accordingly, okay? Move accordingly, especially by the springtime of next year. All right, let's get into these love reads because you know your girl likes to talk, okay? You know I do. I love to talk. Anyways, let's see. I should have put these cards over here instead of keeping them over there. The other, in the Scorpio video, I knocked everything down. I'm trying to get these done before I take a kid's trick or treating so I can have them posted. Ah, okay. All right, let's see. What do they need to know generally when it comes to love? Well, we have a vacation. You need to go on a vacation, friend. You need to take a trip. <laughs> You'll be traveling soon, all right? There's also something about pets. You know, Scorpio got that too. And we have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with another water sign or it's just important for you. There's also somebody questioning something around their sexuality or when they should be, you know, sexually active with someone. There's something about the sensuality. Let's put it that way. Vacation. Someone's going to show you who they really are on a vacation. Okay. Laura might be having coffee and having a discussion about getting a, a, a pet. We're building a fr friendship. You might even take your, maybe even go take your puppy to get a pup cup from Starbucks. I don't know. And there is probably a love affair or a love situation. I don't know why I said affair. A love situation coming through with another water sign. Okay. And be very aware of somebody's sexual addictions, possibly somebody being a little codependent on you. Maybe they're like trying to convince you or coerce you into something that you're just like really not that into. And you're just like, yo, you know, take a seat. <laughs> Plenty back. Let's see what the cats say to that. What do the cats say about that? Let's see. Let's see. It does not matter how slowly you go, just as long as you don't stop. Ooh, okay, don't stop, get it, get it. But I feel like this person might be rushing you to go to the next level with them instead of giving you your time to kind of um, make that decision yourself. Like, I feel like you're being pressured to move faster than what you want to, okay? That's for some and not for all. Remember, this is a general read. Take the parts that fix, fix that fit, and leave the rest for someone else. So... We have in the past, we have the Ace of Cups. There was an offer of love, but we're at the Five of Pentacles. We kind of feel like, oh, I don't know if I should have taken that Ace of Cups, okay? And so we put in boundaries. Yep, okay? Because we are talking about it, being about it. We are definitely making it clear that we don't want that energy because we found something out. So somebody found something out. Maybe this isn't your story. Maybe this is with a friendship. But you found something out and you are not about it. And there's that justice again. So definitely bringing things into balance. We're not playing games. We're not doing this stuff with you anymore. That mask has been removed. So there was an offer. You took this offer. The Five of Pentacles says you made a major decision with the Two of Swords. The Nine of Wands, you put those boundaries. You want to move slowly. You're not trying to rush it. The Ace of Swords said, look, I'm feeling myself. I am the chariot. And if I don't like what you're talking about, boo, I'm out. All right? The Seven of Swords, and it came out reversed. I'm going to give it. It's not making sense to you. It is not balanced. It's not moving forward. And Justice says you're going to remove your coin from a situation. So whether this is a work situation or a love situation, situation you found something out you're just not into you could find this out over a cup of coffee or after a vacation or after somebody goes on vacation all right let's get into our beautiful singles let's see what we got going on for singles and ready to what damn dirty mingle all right let's see here because you got to get up get out and go somewhere i gotta get you looking good cancer you're looking good this month all right we have challenges. We have a lot of healing going on for ourselves. And then we're getting over a breakup or experiencing one, possibly with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. And we are being very patient with ourselves. We're really trying to move forward with that. Patience is really hard. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I'm a fire sign. What is this challenge about? Needing more time. We need more time to kind of process our emotions. 
the breakup, we are cutting ties with something that no longer serves us. What is this fire sign about? Love. We could be finding love in a hopeless place, all right? Patience. We, we might be in a talking phase. We're trying to get to know each other better. We're trying to understand what's going on, all right? Let's see what this challenge uh, message is about. Endurance. Um, take your time. You will get there when you get there. Hey, whoever sent me this vessel deck, thanks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I got it, but I love it. And ship. It is time to move on. There was a breakup or something that you just keep, you keep reminiscing or you're reliving it a lot and it causes a lot of anxiety for you and it's time to release that and move forward so that you can be in a good place for yourself, okay? Let's see, bless these cards. Show us the energies coming in for our beautiful Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we have the Page of Cups. We're starting fresh. We're starting new. We're believing in the... And when pigs could fly, we're just believing in things. And we're sitting on top of the world with the wheel. We're letting things happen. This is destiny. But we don't know which way to go. And it's falling right on top of that move on, right? So we don't know how to move on from something. We know we've got to, but we don't know how. And that is a very common um, thing to go through. If anybody's ever interested in me doing a breakup reading or a healing for that, we can go live and do that, all right? Let me know. I got time, all right? <sighs> Set those boundaries. There's also something about a trip coming through for you. And balance. You are going to start realizing you're not going to overgive in situations anymore. And definitely getting over some issues with the devil energy. The devil and the seven of cups being in the same reading. There could be some patterns that you're finding yourself in. There could be things that you're highly attracted to that are getting you in bad situations. But it's like you're trying to release that. And the key to that is learning your boundaries, okay? And moving on. When they show you who they are, okay? We believe them <laughs> and we keep it moving, all right? So let's see here. What is this Page of Cups vibe about? What is this Page of Cups vibe about? We have here the Two of Swords. So we need to make some major decisions, okay? Major decisions coming through and we are releasing something with the Four of Cups. So we are, we are letting something go. We thought it was going to be different. We thought it was going to be a different kind of vibe and energy. Okay. The wheel. The wheel is coming through. Let's see. Destiny wants you to know the sun. So the double ten here. I also feel like there's some stuff with work. Do not let people at work know what's going on in your personal life. But there's definitely, this is a great time to work on your resume. Okay. Double 10 there. What else is at the center of this read? With the tower. Look, something is being brought to the light. It was meant for it to be brought to the light. It's almost like be thankful that you know now, okay? And even though you're overall at the seven of cups, you're just really not sure. And there's that queen of wands. So you're not sure. You've met someone, possibly an Aries Leo Sash, because that's where the love was over. And you want things to change. And you're like, whoa, I don't know. Like, I really like this. I, I want to see where this goes, right? And then we have this queen of swords vibe. So you could have a choice between two people right now, a choice between two lovers, and you don't know which way to go because of... You don't want to move on or you don't, you're don't. you afraid that this person's going to be just like the last, right? Nine of Wands with the Two of Cups. So I'm going to say you're putting your boundaries, but you are open. You're open to this situation. You're open to it, which also helps you at the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> Look, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Like, honestly, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? You can't make the wrong choice if you take your time. If you rush into situations, you're going to make the same mistake. But if you take your time, my friend, you're not going to make the same mistake. You've got to see who these people are. It is time for you to move on from old habits and old ways of being because it leaves you in an area of anxiety. Six of Pentacles, what do you have for us? The Two of Pentacles, you've got to find your balance. The one from the past is not it. They're just going to hurt you again. And there's something with the number 25. 25 is important, okay? So the number 7. <laughs> 25, 25 on both sides. Because uh, I have a cross and I have 25 over here and 25 over here. I have 925 over here and I have 625 over here. So whatever that means to you. There's something about you learning to make decisions at your pace. 
because what was brought to the light was destiny and you needed to know it. And you keep beating yourself up because you found out. Okay, like you were supposed to know. The devil, what does the devil want you to know? It's time to go. You have got to leave behind what is keeping you on the leash. What's keeping you there? What keeps you in this state of, I don't know what I want. I know I want to fall in love. I know I want to be in a relationship, but I don't know what I want. I don't know. And then when I find it, you know, I don't even know if I really want this. Like what? Friend. And maybe that's not your story, but that's the way it's coming out here. But there's definitely something from the past that keeps lurking up for you. And it's time to cut ties with the past. I'm going to write that down. Cut ties with past. Pay attention to the 4th, the 5th, the 7th, the 8th, the 22nd, and the 25th. There's this energy coming through for you, and I feel like there's no sugarcoating it. There's no sugarcoating it, Cancer. I'm not sugarcoating. No, I'm not, because people don't already like me, so it's okay. <laughs> so, no sugarcoating it. Look, you can keep being mad because it didn't work out with somebody or being upset that somebody did something to you. You can stay there if you like, and you're going to stay there. Or you can decide to release that, let that go, be free, and move on. Because you do have an opportunity to meet someone new, possibly a fire sign, okay? And this person is, like, ready to fall in love, but you're not, you're, like, still holding on to something that they had nothing to do with. It's not, that was not them. They didn't do that to you, all right? So, ooh, that card didn't want to go back in there. I want to look at, just, let's look at, okay, Person from the past. Person from the past that we can't let go. What's up with that? You're on a new chapter. You need to move on. And so are they. They're like, great. All right. I see your side of the story. That's wonderful. I was dishonest. Okay. I'm moving on. I was indecisive, but I've decided to move on. And they're like, you should too. <laughs> One message for them. I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. Okay. I was selfish and stuck in my ego. I needed to tell you the truth and they didn't. They will eventually apologize whether it's like on a soul level, whether you just feel that peace or move on. But the thing is a lot of people ask for closure and I want to ask you a question. What does closure really do for you? Feeds your ego. You know, hearing, no, oh, it was me, it wasn't you. It really makes you feel better. But in the end, guess what? They're still not with you. So whether it was them, whether it was you, whether you need to hear them say, I'm sorry, you're holding yourself back from happiness if you're waiting for that. Start journaling, start working on those things. Think about what your life would look like if you move on. Do some clearings, do some cleansings, and, and then get to that next level, right? So let's look at this person who wants to come in for you. Sorry, if that sounds harsh, I'm sorry. It's just you deserve to be happy, damn it. <laughs> Would you be happy, Cancer? Let's see, new person. They have very beautiful skin, porcelain light skin, old school, um, old school Hollywood look, okay? They could be biracial, two-tone hair, Libra energy, round face. They definitely have a round face. Very young looking, very fresh looking. And then I have the gentleman here. So I kind of feel like um, if it's a masculine energy, this person has an old school look, an older look. They might even have salt and pepper hair. And this person is looking for a commitment. This person isn't here to play, okay? They're just like not here to play. And again, the ring is the number 25. And I told you that number 25 is important for you. Porcelain skin, what do you have for us? Ooh. We got a dick pic, okay? So this person, <laughs> this person is very rom um, freaky, okay? They like to talk to you at night. They like to send you pictures. You know, some people are into that. It doesn't matter. The crossroads with um, the new moon. I do think the new moon is going to be important, and I also think um, the 22nd of October was important, too. The ring with the ladder. So I do feel like this person wants to build a connection with you. This person also is climbing the ladder at work. Okay, they're climbing the ladder at work and they're trying to clean things up. Let's get you some initials. Hopefully I don't knock everything over. Let's see here. I did in Scorpio. We have P for Penelope. Oh, and then I pulled out the Scorpio sign. All right. And we got O and K. 
<laughs> poke me, ew, all right. As a little Scorpio sign, it like, was like, poke me. So I'm gonna give you some guidance and love. Okay, guidance and love, give them two cards. We have here the seventh ch chakra, okay? So trust what your intuition is telling you. Do it with love because there is some deceit going on. Okay, let's use the vessel cards. Let's see here. We have, we have to begin to trust our intuition and we have to trust the truth that there is love and love does exist. And the deceit will be brought to the light, okay? So these are, I'm telling you, these are awesome cards. I don't, I don't even think I have these. Um, they're called Vessel. They look like this. These drawings were made in Oakland, California by Mary Elizabeth Evans. Um, very beautiful deck. Great cards. I've never read the book, you know, but they just speak to you. Like, they really, really speak to you. So whoever sent them, thank you. All right. Let's get into the couples. Let's see what's going on with couples. All right, couples. Cancer. Whew. Cancer couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do you have for them? We have patience is needed. The next three months will be very important. Good things come to those who wait. Don't know why I said three months, but whatever, it came out. There is, you've been bewitched. The love spell is over you, my friend. And with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly. And there is someone else trying to get into the relationship or be a part of it, all right? But you know what? This is a two-party dance, all right? You cannot join. You cannot be a part of this. You've got to go. No shenanigans allowed. All right, patience. Why are we in patience? We have the butterfly. We're evolving. We're growing. We're moving on to the next level. It talks about releasing the past. So be kind to yourself as you're evolving and you're learning. What is this love spell about? Love spell says we need time. So this is kind of telling you to take your time if you're with somebody. Don't rush, okay? And there is a lot of passion with an air sign. Someone else... But you know what? Your person has unconditional love for you. Someone else could even be a family member or something, like a boo-boo head that's trying to get in the way, okay? But they can't play with you because baby can't play with cancer. Can't play with that cancer. No, no, no. Okay, let's see. I want to use the cats. I don't know why lately I haven't been loving the cats. Maybe because of Max the cat. Meow, 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 meow. Come on, kitty cats. Let's see what's going on here for them. What is Cancer's person thinking? Temperance. I also feel like this person is trying to hold back a little bit, but then, like, I'm telling you, you are, like, everything they ever wanted. All I ever wanted, all I ever needed. <laughs> but they are heartbroken about something. They need some time, okay? What do they need time about? Because they, they, like, they want to marry you. They see you as marriage material or you guys are married. They feel like, wow, I hit the jackpot. Cancer. You're amazing. All right. But there's a major decision that has to be made. Okay. They're, they're like, okay, I have to make a choice. I don't know what I'm going to do. They came out like this. The queen of wands and the four of pentacles. So there is this energy of maybe of like taking control, but holding back at the same time. And they pick you. Queen of cups. Page of Swords. They really want to get into this communication. I kind of feel like here you are as the Hierophant with your book. And you're like, look, this, these are the things that I need in my life to be successful. And they're like, teach me. Teach me your ways, Sensei. <laughs> they're like, how do you know everything? Like, they see you as like, they're everything. Okay, like they're super into you. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on for you. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, temperance with the ace of swords. So they do love talking to you. They love the communication with you. Um, the magician. They're also very um, smexually attacked, attracted to you. Like they're really into you. Like they get excited around you, if you know what I mean. All right, the three of swords with the four of pentacles. They're afraid that you're not as into them as they are into you. Because they're like passionate about you the ace of wands the ace of wands the ace of swords the hierophant this is telling me they're they want to get married or you guys are married okay they're like thinking about that the hierophant with the queen of cups they know that baby they love you they see you as the queen of cups they're all about you okay two of wands what do you have for us the emperor i can't keep my eyes off of you they're like you feel like having to touch i want to hold you so much all right 
Um, I do think with this Queen of Pentacles energy coming through, it's like the Queen of po the Queen of Pounds, the Queen of <laughs> the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Pentacles here. I want to say that someone else trying to get involved could be family members, work, someone who's trying to throw like a monkey wrench into the situation. But guess what? Meow. It ain't gonna work. Queen of Cups comes out on top with your card, the moon, okay? So it's almost like, look, you know you got it right here, baby. You know you got it right here. And this person never wants to see you with someone else. There, The Hermit and the Moon, there's also something about a possible move, okay? Page of Swords wants you to know the Six of Cups. Look, they want to learn from the past. They want to release it. They want to move forward. The Hierophant at the end, they're ready to get married. They're ready to move this to the next level. Look, you have the Magician, the Emperor, the Hierophant, Temperance, the Moon, and the Hermit in this card reading. That is six majors. So for me, this is a very strong connection. You guys are strongly connected. They know what they have in you. They want to make this relationship work. They're hurt maybe from something in the past that happened to them or whatever happened between you guys or that these people are trying to get involved in the relationship. But it does not work. It don't work, boo. It's not going to work. Like, womp, womp, womp. Try again, losers. You're not going to get in the middle of our relationship because we have a lot of love for each other and we're going to give each other time and we're going to move forward and we're not going to be mad and we're not going to jump to uh, conclusions uh, about a situation. Okay, so let's look and see if there's anything you need to know, like anything hidden that you need to know about. All right. Anything that our beautiful couples need to know about this month. We have the gentleman. So we have masculine energy, double masculine energy. With key information coming in, maybe somebody's health or stability, and it's going to be very peaceful. All right, some of you have to make a major decision about who you're going to choose and who you're going to be with, whether it was two queens or two kings, right? Now, in this situation, we're looking at stability. What you're looking for is a key factor in health and longevity. You're also like, who do I have a more peaceful connection with? And what is my problem at times? Because you're trying to hold somebody to a standard that wasn't even like that wasn't like them at all. OK, that might have been a previous situation. What does a cat say about the gentleman's? You rock. And wake up and be fabulous. A little encouragement goes a long way. Your partner might be needing a little bit of that. Hey, babe, you are really doing a great job. I really appreciate when you do this. I like when you do that. I love when you do this um, because it goes a long way. Or maybe that's what you're needing from your partner. OK, I love this card. It says <laughs> to all the haters. So let's give you some Oracle. Beautiful message for you guys that whatever is trying to come between you is just not going to work. It's just not going to work. Not going to work. Healer of the ages, you're definitely going through a lot of healing right now. The 15th could be very important because I keep seeing 1-5. And community. Some of y'all could be doing a lot of community work, a lot of, or even letting people know about the relationship, putting it out there, letting people see things. There's also talks about travel going on. Let's go to the vessel. Healer of the ages, what is your guidance? Support. I do believe that you guys are supporting each other through like whatever changes need to be made. It looks like the seven of cups with a snake. So whatever this person is bringing in or these outside influences and situations, you guys are going to get through it and you're going to be stronger than ever. And some of you are working with children or working through childhood fears. OK, the world wants you to know you need to take a break and you need to rest. Get that sleep. Don't tell everybody everything that's going on in your lives. And for some of y'all who are moving, I wouldn't even tell anybody you're moving. I would just go. All right. Let's see. This is the part of the reading where we go from Aries to Pisces. All right. Aries to Pisces. All signs. Let's cut this deck. We have here the sun reverse with the queen of wands. Stand in your power. Don't dim your light. You are powerful. You are strong. There's also something that you wanted to ask about somebody, and that answer is a no. Okay? Especially if it's somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. I think that's... Good Lord, you want to shuffle. Okay, one more. That's it, right there. Okay, let's see here. Here you are as the Three of Pentacles. Work is very important. You're moving forward. You're taking your time. I also feel like you have a lot of support. 
Aries is like, hey, I want to be there to support you. I want to be there. Let's be secure with each other. Solution, we're praying about it. And we are completing a cycle. This prayer that you guys are having, it could be to be selling a house, purchasing a house. Um, why do I not have these cards right here in front of me when I need them? Did I put them? So, oh, okay. What is it? Where did they go? So let's see. What are we praying about? What are we praying about? Grounding, being stable, making things stable again. Lucky day is going to be the fifth. Here you are making a lot of promises, being very hopeful about a situation. And Taurus is ready to initiate and start new things. You're taking control. And they are also praying about this. They're also confiding in their spirit guides and, and, and moving for even family. And they're going to be introducing you to their family at possibly holiday parties. Okay. Here you are as the Ten of Cups reverse. You're not really feeling complete in this cycle. Gemini is ready to talk about it. Uh, we have got to do some healing. We've got to talk about where we want to be, especially after a conflict. Lucky day is the first. Here you are ready to start new things and move forward with the fool. And Cancer, the other Cancer is like, okay, let's talk about it. Let's see, let's see how we can move forward that way. All right. But there's some changes that you guys, neither one of y'all are willing to make. There's like you want to start over, but someone's being kind of like, I don't want to do that. And they're not ready to release some of their old ways of being. Okay. The 16th could be important. Here you are a little bit heartbroken with the three of swords. Oh my gosh, my back is just itching. I'm so sorry. With the three of swords and Leo is like, look, let's make it right. Let's stand on business. Let's, make, let's correct it. You're all out of love with a Leo. And you're like, I don't even think that you can make this right. Um, so Leo might ask you to marry them. Okay. <laughs> they're really, they're really like last ditch effort. The fifth could be important. Here you are as the three of wands reverse. You do not feel successful. You do not feel like it was all a dream. You didn't read Word of Magazine. You wasn't feeling the situation. You're out, all right? And Virgo said, let me take control of the situation. I'm in control. Um, this is about facing your fears and coming from the heart, okay? Solution is the 12th. So if you're over them, this would be a great time to tell them because they have no clue. They're like, that's my boo. <laughs> you are the sun reverse. It is a no for you. And Libra is like, well, forget it. I'm out. Eight of eight of cups. I'm you're full neglected. There could have been third party interference and something from the past that came through. The first could be important. Here you are as the magician, making that magic camping. Ew, 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 ew. You're also taking control and power back. You're owning it, okay? And that was Leo. That was Virgo, Libra. Scorpio is trusting their intuition. You both are very magical. You both trust your intuition. Y'all are both letting go of old ways of being and paying attention to red flags. It's like neither one of y'all can play each other. This is like Scorpio and Cancer reading each other to filth. Thirteenth could be important. Here you are living your single life, living happy. You're proud of yourself. Nine of Pentacles. And Sagittarius wants an unconventional relationship. You're like, well, we have to start over. I don't know about this. I don't know what's going on. But it might just work because you go on vacation and have a great time. The second could be important. Here you are with your boundaries with the nine of wands. And Capricorn says, let's start fresh. Let's do this. But something comes to the light with the seven of swords. And you are all out of love in this situation. The tenth could be important. Here you are as the two of swords. You are making decisions. You're thinking about things. And Aquarius is feeling it with the two of cups. We have a tower moment coming in. So either we're making some love making, earthquake and stuff. Or we found something out. All right, let's see. So we're going to pray about it. What are we praying about? Okay, because they're all in love with you and you're just like, oh, girl with a snake. Okay, you better watch their behaviors. There might be some love bombing going on. The six could be important. Here you are paying attention to how things are working out. And Pisces is not feeling it. Four of Cups walking away. You are like, okay, I feel manipulated with the Queen of Pentacles. And the Princess of Pentacles coming out here. So I kind of feel there could be family interference or there's a situation of an age gap. All right. And the 11th could be important. That's what I have for you guys. I hope you have a beautiful month. Let's stay in touch. Happy Halloween and have a beautiful November.